Hey guys, welcome to Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds. I'm Ted, hanging out with... Dave. And today we have a GM911 from Brian Martin. His uh, players are killing off his NPCs, and they're the only ones with the information that they need to be able to successfully complete an adventure. Hey, if you have a GM911 in your campaign, you can reach us at nerdarchy at gmail.com or you can go to nerdarchy.com to the forums where you can find the section for GM911s and we will help you with your problem. So, um, in my situation, in, in my, uh, wow, totally mind blank. Sorry about that. Uh, the problem <laughs> is murder hobos. I think we have a case of the mur murder hobos here. It's, it's highly possible. And, and Dave and I, you know, did a quick, uh, chat about the, this subject before we hit record and I, I, I view this as there's two possible situations that that could solve this problem well, let's make sure we re totally review the problem is uh, player characters are killing NPCs with vital information it's, it's essentially sometimes these NPCs are the only ones in the world that have the information that they need it and for whatever reason they're the players killing, killing them. Them. And, which the GM has no problem with but you, you kind of should like I, I would have a problem with, in any game where the players are randomly, you know, doing things that don't make make sense. Right. Like if if you can't apply real world logic to what people are doing in game, there's a disconnect. I agree. Like you shouldn't, like like you shouldn't do something in game that you would would never do out of game. Right. I, you know, I've seen players at our own table even more recently that do things like that, which it baffles my mind because you would never act that way in real life so it's almost like they're acting out these fantasies uh -huh. uh, that they can't do in real life and they use RPGs to do them uh -huh. which okay to a certain extent I get that but at the end of the day like if you're playing heroes like just murdering NPCs because right. it, you know is a, you know is kind of a problem uh -huh. in, in my opinion and here's the thing if you don't if you don't want to make it a problem because you morally are against just them murdering all the NPCs that's fine but there is there is other implications other than the moral, which are they had at the end for you're trying to solve a problem they've created, but because I don't know why, like why would you bother? Like okay, you can't complete the quest. But that 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 that's one of the, one of the options, and and it really could be a position where that is the punishment. They're looking for they're looking for pieces, and when when they've exhausted all situations. You can tell them out of game, like I'm. I'm sorry, guys. You... No, no, no. I disagree. In game, you make them learn that was the guy that had the information you need it. You can no longer get it, and it's not your fault as the GM. It's their fault for having rash or irrational actions in the game because your actions have consequences. I know you're going to disagree, cleric or cleric. Just let them do what they want to do. I know your philosophy. Uh, you know, or you know, they, you know, maybe they have to like venture. Like, you want a solution? Here's a solution for you. They have to go to the realm of the dead and bring that guy back. Like they like sure it could be a resurrection spell or something but nah just make them effing go to the realm of the dead adventure there and haul their asses back and shove them back in their body or interrogate them there or talk to them there or maybe it's not even like they have to convince them to in order to get the information no absolutely well regardless of how they talk to them I mean spirit form realm of the dead or a resurrection. Like he needs to be able to give the information willingly, and they killed him for whatever reason. That... And he's really pissed about it. Oh, absolutely. I mean, nobody likes dying. I mean, come on. So, like, I unless really... it's on Tuesday, Tuesdays are totally okay. Tuesdays are okay. To die. Yes. Okay, I'll have to remember that one. Um. So, so if you have this situation where, like, they have to they have to bring this guy back in some way, shape, or form to have this conversation, and then. There's going to be. I'm thinking about the comments, some of the comments, right? Especially you, Clark of Chaos. I, I'm, I'm getting a little angry and peeved right now, to be honest with you. you For the comments on the video that we haven't even posted yet, that we, we haven't gotten yet. You're getting angry because you automatically know how they're going to respond. Yes. Yes, I am. Well, because here's the thing like, you know, sometimes people will say, well, you're being punitive, uh, you know, you're just punishing them. No, it's their own actions that have actually punished them. They've created this situation. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there there was a comment like you know in, in just today uh, from our our good from friend from Infinite Roleplay, uh, Nelson, about because Ted changed the alignment of a character, and I, I would argue no, that you didn't change the character of the alignment. The player changed the character on the alignment 
by their actions. actions. Right. And that over yep. a period of time. And that's what I had looked at, you know. Yo, and this is the same kind of deal. Like the players are dictating what happens. Like you've already decided, like you've already decided in the game that there's one piece of information and this one guy has it. It's not your fault as a GM that these guys decided to kill him. I mean, unless you did something to make them, you know, take that course of action, then there should have been some kind of foreshadowing or something like, hey, you may not want to do that because he has the information you need. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, again, like with the GM nine ones, we don't always have all of the all the information, all the facts, but you know, just based off of what I need, if they're, you know, if they're. Their MO is to just kill the NPCs for whatever reason. I don't know. Like, they had a bad day. Uh, they don't They don't have a puppy to kick anymore because they killed it two sessions ago. You know, so, or you know, perhaps, perhaps, like, you, you describe the character as having, a, you know, expensive jewelry or some, something on him that's valuable. And, like, okay, I'm going to kill it just for that. Like, that, right. that, that kind of thing happens. So Yeah, it's called robbery. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, you're a criminal. <laughs> well... I mean, I, I again. I know. I know that it happens in games. That's what the, yeah. the murder hobos do. They kill. They kill everything and take they, they, they take their stuff. Um, you could always just knock them out. And take their stuff. You could, but that's not. But the then way. I couldn't be a murder hobo. I'd be a knockout hobo. Yes. Yeah. And of course, then then there's ramifications. I mean, either either way, there's ramifications of who actually killed this person, who actually robbed this person. You know, harder to find out who 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 murdered versus you know who robbed. Yeah, like. So you're right, like, and you have to like look at too, like, why are your players killing all the NPCs? Are your players just a holes, right? And they just like to murder the NPCs, or you know, do you create NPCs that that make players want to murder them? Uh, now, again, that being said, there's a lot of people in real in real life that I've come across that I've probably wanted to murder, but I won't do it because there's consequences for those actions, right. and murder is wrong. Yeah, generally, it's yeah. wrong. Yeah. So. How do you handle this this situation in your in your game? You know, what kind of suggestions do you have for uh, for Brian as to, to to handle this? You know, I, I look at it as I think the the best way is to not be able to have them get that information or not be able to get it easy. Put your thoughts in the comments below while you're at it. Like, share, even subscribe. You can hang out with us over at nerdarchy.com. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.